as the party flees uh, from the scene, Talos watches them leave before leaping back into the storm. Uh, Fafnir sort of flies underneath and, and pursues the party um, before Talos crashes into the center of this storm. A large giant of a woman uh, with bluish skin lays on her hands and knees, uh, heavily wounded, seared with uh, packs of ice sealing wounds. Um, as she sees Talos land, uh, he begins taking a step forward. She tries to get up before she fumbles back to her uh, back to her knees, turning into this strange owl-like form. Uh, the original giant shape sort of dissolving away into snow. Um, she lifts her hands uh, as, a t as if to attempt to cast something before she falls again, this time landing on her uh, on her butt basically scooting backwards away from Talos as he pulls his hammer out. Um, that form, again, sort of dissolves away into snow. Uh, a woman, blonde-haired with an owl mask, uh, puts her hand up as a feeble attempt to defend herself. As Talos lifts his hammer, it's sparking with lightning. And we're going to cut back to the Rumbler. This episode uh, is brought to you by Moxie Cola. It Moxie tastes like dirt. And the crow. A crow lets a noise out. That's right. See the new 2025 crow movie this Sunday. Known to be good. Known to be a movie. Uh, but... We are going to cut to the rumbler. A fight ensuing. El Chad hopping down into a Ragnar having been thrown off of the back of the uh, rumbler as him and Fafnir basically in unison are going to charge forward. But before that happens, we zoom into the rumbler, down to the floor of it, through uh, some of the chairs and feet as people scurry about. And we see Muse having woken up about, I don't know, 10 <laughs> minutes ago. This is sad music. Yeah, hearing that there is a god that is a temp a demigod attempting to kill them while being chased by a massive dragon. How is Muse feeling? This isn't what I signed up for when I wanted to be a reporter. <laughs> Why am I here? Just to suffer? Musa, as you lay on the ground, contemplating your, well, particular line of work and maybe group of friends, you get this itching feeling that you should probably help. But do you have the will to do so? I need to get out of here. Yeah. Um, and you hear a click as the cat is under the seat in front of you, having taken a picture of you cowering underneath the seat uh, with blood raining down your head because you did hit your head pretty hard. And what looks like the rest of them all with their weapons drawn standing around you. That with that, cat. With, with that all you needed to know. Muse will um, rage and get up. All right. Let's roll initiative then, fellas. As oh, we are man. going to start. Oh, we've already Should I use the metal break. guitar or the... Uh, oh, yeah. He just needs to move. Use initiative. Uh, should I do the metal version or the orchestral version of that song? Or should I just do metal. something different? Metal. We'll do, we'll do Wait, metal. are we re re-rolling our initiative? No. No, no, no. We're, we're keeping the same. Okay, okay. And both of our characters go on the same initiative these days, right? Yes. Just keep it simple. Uh, keep it yeah, simple so if stupid. you have if you have two characters, then they both go on initiative at the same time. Uh, one after the other is kind of the idea. Hold on, let me get Muse on here. It's... Muse. All right, Ragnar 
having been thrown off of the uh, the rumbler, goes sliding out into the snow. He stands up. Uh, he sort of uh, looks over at the rumbler as Fafnir sort of flies over him. Uh, he turns back and looks at the center of the storm, feeling something, uh, as if something is drawing close. And uh, he just gives a smirk, looks at the rumbler as it starts to speed away, and goes, Ah, fuck it. Um, and he lets out a horror or a, a fury filled rage. Um, and he is going to be in his ode of fury. Uh, which does a couple of different things. Uh, but you feel like both Ragnar and Fafnir are on their last legs. Uh, he goes charging. He's going to have to dash, basically, to catch up to the Rumbler um, from where he is. Because all of this is happening as the, the map is moving, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but you guys see something strange. He does not jump back onto the Rumbler. Instead, he dives into the back of the Rumbler being just engulfed in fire um you can see his hand gripped on the top up here and you hear a thud uh as he seems to hit something uh bloco in the car of the or in the rumbler you hear the engine boo, 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 start to sputter um as it seems like ragnar is smacking the engine of the vehicle we might have come to the end of the road guys uh um, dm Yes. I don't know if I have sight of him across the rumbler, but I, I do have a reaction if he is within range of the halberd. I'm going to say no because of the angle you're at, Understood. right? Because he's he's basically in the lower half of the rumbler and you're kind of above it. Um, and there's like this hump here. Um. And also, he is a bit obscured, right? Because he is legitimately shrouded in fire right now. Um, oh, and everybody on the top of the Rumbler will see the dragon, Fafnir, uh, mouth begin to sputter with flame. Uh, as it looks like it is readying up another one of those fire blasts that it seemed to do last round. Uh, uh, as we get to Musa. How was it able to yes. do that? Because I know Vinny tried to make it forget how to breathe fire with those marbles. Oh yeah, was that that was Vinny, wasn't it? Yeah. Well then. Uh, Let it's, me. It's nice to be a divine dragon, I guess. <laughs> it is nice to be a divine dragon. Let me get his sheet out. Okay. Because if that's the case, he's going to do something else. Something worse. Yeah. Well. Better for the story if it's right. worse. Then what it's going to do is it's going to whoo, flap its wings. The ice underneath it cracks as uh, it swoops forward and to the side of the rumbler and kind of does this wide arc. Um, you get the impression that it is going to crash into the rumbler. Okay. DM, right. do I get my do I do I get my reaction now? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might as well. As as Fafnir flies forward to try and crash into uh, the Rumbler, uh, Baps is gonna lift the halberd and strike it as a reaction. All right. Uh, with his uh, uh, polearm master. Right. Um, uh, you would be striking it. at its wing, basically. Okay. I'm going to uh, do it with this. This is probably kind of foolish, but we'll see. Oh, uh, an 11. An 11 will not, unfortunately. Its wing is so colossal and large that when you go to make the swing, it flaps once, and it is enough sort of air pressure to push your uh, halberd out of the way. All right. All right, then Musei. Uh, can I see the dragon's head? Um, you are in the rumbler right now. Um, you could probably feel the heat coming from it. 
Uh, yeah, you actually know there's a window on the side. So yeah, you would see the window through the side door. Um, there is a hole where this red square is. There's a hole in the rumbler right now to get to the roof. Uh, yeah, Muse is going to take out uh, the teleportation tether. Ooh, okay. And uh, she's going to cling the tether and dimension door on top of Fafnir's head. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just get the... Crap, where was that? Was it in the... Talonbrine items, maybe? I don't know, there's too many items. I got so many goddamn items, guys! <laughs> we, we I really need items. to... I really need to sort these better, we don't gotta, I? We gotta start selling yeah. them at rock bottom prices to move this inventory. We got a lot of inventory. Crap, what did I where did I put it? I know what the I even know what the picture of it looks like. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> you alright there? You need a you need an Excel sheet, man. I do no. need an Excel sheet. I'm not Please. doing this. I need one. Well, I hate it because they have a way of like searching it. Like in the uh, in the top, but the but it problem is, work is quite good. it doesn't um, it doesn't open the folder. Like it doesn't get rid of the folders that it's not in. <laughs> Perfect. So it's exactly like wow, how wow, I want thanks. the search feature to work. Yeah. Like, Lovely. Could this been like an item that you just like? Yeah, this exists. This sounds cool. You just made it up on the spot. You maybe never got around to make an item. No, I had the picture. I remember the picture because it's like two little uh, spikes with a bluish green like tether between them. Oh, my God. Now, this is, now this is embarrassing. I had this I really can... good setup and I, I ruined it all. Oh, gosh. Anyway, you, do you know what it does? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll put, you can click them together, teleport into a station as if using dimensional door. This item can only be used again. Uh, can't be used again until next stop. All right. Uh, well, then we will go based on what I wrote down. Yeah. So she'll keep you on the he head of the dragon. Um. <clears throat> oh, uh, and then. You wanted me, uh, Vinny, to show you the. Where is it? Oh, the moon parchments. That was the thing we didn't have a thing of. That wasn't me. <laughs> uh, the um, moon parchments is con save uh, to avoid hallucination and a plus two to dexterity for an hour. Uh, do you know what the con save is? Uh, 15. 15, okay. All right, Musei, you are on top of the dragon. It is puttering with fire and flame. I need a deck save really quick. Thank God I'm good at those. Yes, you pass. And I believe you're a monk. You have invasion, right? Yeah. All right, so you are not burned as you, like, sort of skip from uh, scale to scale. Uh, she's just going to wail on his head. All right. Oh, uh, actually, no. For, uh, as a bonus action, she's going to activate... She's going to let out a roar of anger as she activates her astral arms. Ah, hell yeah. Um, which, uh, when she does that, uh, the creature has to make a save. Yeah, it has to make a deck saving throw. The deck saving throw. All right. It is... Blue. 18. Uh, beats it. I think he doesn't take anything from it. Uh, you must, uh, yes, each creature of the cards that you see within 10 feet must succeed a deck save throw or take force damage equal to two rolls of your emotional die. Okay. Yeah, so he doesn't take anything. But astral arms just start appearing on Muse as she starts to muda muda him. All right. 
So you boo, and this like, uh, what do they look like? They're like spectral arms, basically. Yeah, they're like spectral arms, but the fists form into like little cat punching arms. All right. As you boom, 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 just start smacking its head. Um, the first one's gonna hit. Second one will miss. Nine. Nine. But it is magical, though. Uh -huh. Magical. You're on its head, so you feel like not all of that damage goes through um, because it is resisting it in some sort of supernatural way, but you manage to crack its uh, scale on one of its head as you're punching basically the same location. Um, let's see. I get out of sight. Uh, I have advantage of wisdom and charisma. And, uh, Muse is going to be yelling with word of spirit, so like everyone within 600 feet of her can hear just cursing at the storm as she's wailing on his head, and that'll be it. Yeah, move it, move it, move it, move it. All right, Bloco. Um, is no, I'm not going to do that actually. Uh, the Rumblers still drivable, but for how long? Right, that's the that's the question. Yeah, so right now you're running into two different issues. Okay. Uh, one is Ragnar is smacking the engine of it, mm -hmm. uh, which may cause it to putter and stop or inhibit your ability to avoid things soon. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but you, you feel like it's coming if nobody does anything about it. The second thing is this big-ass fucking dragon is about to smash into the rumbler. Um... Yeah, is there any way to try to jump the rumbler onto the dragon? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Maybe make land on a, a wing uh, or something. Make a... God, I guess an investigation check. You're looking around to try and find some means of getting on this dragon. Okay, got the right character sheet this time. Oh, uh, unfortunately, with the snow and the wind sort of buffeting about, you can't find any sort of obvious sort of ramp. Plus, the thing is in to the side of you, so it okay. would make it kind of difficult. Yeah, that's true. Well, then, given that, I'm gonna we have a I'm gonna pull the e brake. All right, so I'm gonna need a. <laughs> I'm going to need a sleight of hand check from you to see how smoothly you do this. All right. Yeah. A 13. Okay. As you smack that e-brake, the uh, rumbler is going to, to sort of dive backwards, um, screeching as it does. Um... But with a 13, I'm going to need everybody on top of the Rumbler, who is actually standing on it, to make a deck save. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh -oh. gosh. All right. I think that, I think that uh, Horus is going to have to make that deck save. Now, you guys, if you guys are within... 10 if you're feet, in the Rumbler um, and in a seat, you're fine. Like you won't have to make this this check. Oh yeah, Horace is Which right is, next to me. Cool. Seems Horace like is, most people are. Yeah, Horace is within ten feet of all of you on the on the roof, so add that four. Yeah, on nice. this save. So add a plus yes. four to that. Yeah, it's twenty-five. So that is let's see. You didn't need it, Droga. Sixteen. Alright. And we're just gonna Quick, sorry, Yars. I might get it. I get. I get a fourteen. Actually, he's fine. Um, due to uh, forest bush. All right. Oh, so everybody is uh, solid. Yars, you got a seven plus four is seven plus seven. Oh. A simple as seven, no, so that would be a fourteen. Master. All right, I can ping this. Go with you. No, I was, I got it. 
Okay. Um, unfortunately, a 14, as you sort of regain your footing and you're like, all right, I got this, uh, you slip over a chunk of ice oh. um, and go sliding uh, forward uh, to the front of the Rumbler. Uh, I'm going to need another deck save from you. Okay. Oh. oh. Plus three makes it 11. 11. <laughs> with with an 11, you have... Uh, you are going to take a little bit of damage here. All right. Uh, it, this. Seven points of fire damage as you right. sort of burn yourself on the engine and slide over the edge and are currently grappling onto the front of the rumbler. Hmm. Uh, Bloco, you, you see fucking Yars like go rolling over the front window. <laughs> Corey. You hear the, uh, that slide on the windshield. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bloco, roll 2d6 for me. All right. <laughs> All right. As, as you went sliding, like, actually, you got over the windshield and you managed to catch yourself, uh, mm -hmm. Yars, a little bit. But Bloco, in a panic, tried to press a button to help you, and the windshield wipers sort of snocked you off. <laughs> and that's what caused you to fall the rest of the way. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, um, and so is it for Bloco's? Well, I think, yeah, Bloco's driving, I think, is their action. So, Vinny... Uh, he is... Uh, let's see, 30 foot cone. Um, is everybody in the vehicle? Are they able to hear like Ragnar screwing stuff up? Is it is it known to them or would they maybe not know? Um, I'll say then Ansel and El Chad can hear something banging on the uh back part of the the rumbler. All right, um. Uh, well, I guess Vinny will. Uh, what what does this take? Is it an action? I didn't open the right item. At will, as an action. Okay. Uh, can Vinny use his hat of disguise to cast disguise self and try to look like Talos? Uh, I don't think so, because I think disguise self just, like, gives you clothes, and it doesn't give you, like, physical says, appearances to look. Well, so it says, you make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings in person, look different until the spell ends. You can seem one foot shorter or taller, appear thin, fatter in between... You, but you can't change your overall body type, so I don't think you can become humanoid. Go humanoid to animal. Yeah. And it does have some limitation. I'm not sure if I... Like, could I be a short Talos? I would say that you could make yourself look like Talos, but you're going to pretty obviously be very short by comparison. All right. Um, because I, I do believe he towers over Baps uh, in the description I gave. Yeah. How tall is Baps? Because Vinny is... I think I have him at six foot. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm at six foot even. I think Baps is like seven two. All right, yeah, yeah. Definitely gonna be a short tallest. <laughs> Maybe I'll be yeah, as tall as like Baps, a... or near as tall. Yeah. I'll be like two inches shorter than Baps. <laughs> yeah, you're about as tall as Baps. All right, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly climb out onto the roof, and. uh <laughs> Walk As back. you're climbing up, you see Yars go rolling by you. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, Baps is 7-1. No worry. And then he's, yeah, he's just gonna walk over and see Ragnar and just be like, I thought I told you to sit down. Guys, I want to also point out, like, 
Talos, a short Talos just came out of the car. That's yeah. fucking wild. Did, did my signal cut out there? Because I, I may have cut out. He's just like, I yeah, thought I, I told you to sit down, boy. And he's just, All right, he's just I'm trying gonna to need a... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need a deception. And, since and it's going to be... Yeah. Yeah, I'm unfortunately it is gonna be a disadvantage because this he is the herald of Talos. Yeah, so yeah. you get he would kind of know this guy. Yeah. He, he probably knows him and it's his dad. Also, he probably and you're knows short. this guy. I'm also and short, short and the spell doesn't do anything to voice change, so it's just Benny doing his best. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see. Disadvantage. Uh you said deception. Hell yeah. Let's see it. Fuck! Still a 12, but that's okay. not good enough. At least it's not Ragnar, a 1. Ragnar looks up at you. And he's he looks pissed at first. But then he looks and he goes, <laughs> That's a terrible disguise. You're too far too short. And far too mortal. I would say the same thing to you and that's Vinny's turn that's that's it <laughs> you know he is my deity right you'll all die uh, just the same well you got the lingo deck as we get to Horus all right uh, well, Horus is uh, going to have to make a intelligence check. Well, actually, no, because Ragnar basically said that's not Talos, so I won't hit you. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> you'll be happy to know. Can I get onto here and sort of onto the back and try to hit this guy from here, or is he too yeah. far down? You can try to hit him. All right, I'm gonna try to hit him with my warhammer. Get, I'm gonna try and hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hit him. I'm gonna try and hit his fingers that are holding on to the <laughs> to the bumper. All right, now I'll say you. It's a smaller target, and you're on top of a moving vehicle, so he, it may be harder to hit. But in theory, you get the feeling you could knock him off again. All right, I'll do it. I'm going to try it. All right. Wait, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him as a bonus action. Ooh, all right. I will put that mark on him. Oh, no, don't. You... Don't worry about that. It's all the uh, damage. I'm not sure why. But he's marked. Say, you're marked, Ragnar. <laughs> Hor your Horus ass is, is grass. Very... Yeah, your ass is grass. Horus is trying to come up with like a catchphrase, but he's just terrible at it. Yeah. And he's gonna roll that twenty-three. Twenty-three will will unfortunately miss. Ooh. Um, you feel like you might have hit him, but with his hand, he just kind of like lets go and grabs with the other hand. All right, I'm gonna try and grab. I'm gonna try with my extra attack to hit the other hand, like whack a moles. Come right. on. Warhammer. No. Are right, you just sort of dense the the rumbler as he sort of swapped back to the first hand? You need to get better with your insults, Paladin. You need to get your shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> He's just laughing. He seems to be having fun with this. Uh, and I think... Can I... Can I take a step back? Or will that provoke? Because he's... Technically uh, that will hiding. provoke. All right. Now, granted, uh, he only has one hand, but he has proven that he is very adept. Yeah, he's pretty... He's pretty deadly. Uh, horse is going to stand there and, and say, I regret this decision. Um, and then... Uh, Bap, save me! <laughs> Bap, save me! Uh, Bingo will climb out of the hatch. I think that the hatch is open now. 
this yeah. way? Well, the, well, the hatch is technically openable, but there is a big hole that he could just uh, I'll just climb come out through. the hole. I'll just come out the hole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'll take a shot at this dragon. All right. You see Luce invisible. on top of the dragon, whacking its head. I am. Uh, you're going to get advantage so. then. Let's and you're going to get your sneak attack. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Oh, uh, just on a note of it, I'm not going to tell you kind of anything more than this. Is there a particular part you're aiming for, or are you just trying to, like, beat down this dragon as best you can? Um, well, I think that it looks like, based on where we're currently at, like its head, which would, would, would be what I would want to shoot, is probably well, 120 Pretty feet. far away. 120 feet? That's, uh, I don't know. But you got to remember, it, it's got its wings and stuff kind of in the yeah. way. Uh... Um... So I'd say your easiest targets are either its uh, right arm and leg, its right wing, and its tail. And then it's just body, if you want to just go for body shots. Maybe I should do maybe I should do wings and try to cripple it so it can't chase us anymore. I'm going to do huh? that. I'm going to shoot its right wing. All right. Or I'm just going to miss... A 14, you shoot it, it's wing, but it, it is pretty big. So it just flaps and smashes that arrow. All right. I'm going to climb back in the hole. All right. And, and you find and... in your quiver a black arrow. <laughs> oh, do I? Did I have a black no, arrow? That was a Hobbit reference oh, I was making. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Next time, guys, I'm going to get him. No, you reach into your pocket for your black arrow. You know, no, roll 2d6. We're going to determine if you have a black arrow. Uh, six. A six is a failure. Okay, you're like, don't worry. Let me get my black arrow, the, the halfling black arrow of slaying. And you go into your quiver to get it, and it's missing. And you're like, where the fuck did I put it? And then we flash to your house. And we see that one of your kids has it, and they're using it to like pick their do nose. Dumb shit. Yeah. He's using it to pick his teeth. It's a uh, what's his name? The big one. Yeah, Congus. Congus. He's using it to pick his teeth. Congus. Congus. <laughs> where's, where's my black arrow? Congus. <laughs> Congus. Um, like, as, we cut, as we cut to this. Uh, okay, can I see um, Buddy hanging off the thing through the back windshield? Um, I guess I did describe that you could see out the back of it, but it is like a slatted, like, reinforced trunk because it's made for things, like, smack into it. Okay. Um, so you get the feeling you can't shoot out of it. You could try opening it. Yeah, that's what I was going to do if I knew he was there. Um, so, yeah, uh, Zinn will pop it open. All right, roll 2d6. We're going to determine this because I got to figure out what. I love this mechanic I've come up with. It makes it so easy when I don't know something. Oh. Ooh. All right, you, boom, press the button to open, um, and you hear the hydraulics start to try to push the trunk open, but they can't seem to do it. It seems like Ragnar is gripped onto this. Basically, he's holding onto the back of the car, and his feet are pressed on the uh, on the trunk. Okay. Uh, so you get the feeling like just his positioning is making that uh, not going to work. Okay. Um, that wasn't an action, though. That was just a use object. So. Okay, awesome. Zen is going to go up to the top of the car as well, then. All right. You see Bingo hop down. Okay. Um, and he yells so... Chungus for some reason. Chungus. <laughs> um. Okay, lined up on the back of the truck then, uh, Zinn is going to look over the edge and cast. Where is it? Or if you want to move Scorching yourself. Rays down at, uh, down at Buddy. All right. That was for one of them, so I'll roll the other two. All right. 26. Followed by 21 and 25. Do those hit? Uh, two of them will hit. Uh, the first one 26 and second and 25, one. I take it? Yes. 
Um, and if you want to move Zin to where you you want to have him standing up on top of the yes thing here. Ooh. All right, you and Vinny are blasting. Yeah. All right, as you boop boop pepper him with a a couple of hits. Yeah. Um. Luckily, his thing hasn't triggered. I don't think any time you guys have hit him yet, so that's pretty good. Uh. And it looks like he is burning a bit from the back of the engine. So the fire is hurting him. Nice. Um, Ansel will also pop out on top. Is there enough room for three people back here? Uh, I think so. Because Baps is flying still, right? Yeah, I think Baps is like hanging off the mud flap or something. Yeah. Okay, Ansel will also pop up. And oh. looking over the side will use where is it here did I write it down so this has a special attack but I don't remember how to access it uh, I believe if you're talking about the Rattlers yeah. uh, special attack yeah it is here I'll show the players awesome uh, unstable spray yeah, he's going to unsp unstable spray over the back of it, like downwards towards him. Yeah, as he just start unloading. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Ragnar probably has disadvantage on dodging it because he is like holding on to this thing. And the fire is like sort of obscuring his view just a little bit from where Ansel is. Uh, still high, but no. Yeah, Damn he rolled it. very, great. very good. <laughs> um, as he, like, avoids some of it, but he is going to get peppered with a bit of it. And it boom, boom, pops a couple okay. holes in him. And Ansel will use his bonus action to roll the 1d6 to see if he unjams the weapon. All right. Four. It does, no, not, does not, unfortunately. As it locks up. And that'll be his turn. All right, Droga. All right. Um, this uh, this hatch that is right next to me is it? Does it open up or open down? Well, there's a hole, and then there's a hatch over there that opens up. Okay. It was an item from the Maze of Monsters. Okay. I'm going to. I'm gonna walk past Vinny, and. I'm looking down at the top of Ragnar, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Um. I'm going to try to grapple because I'm going to try to, like, grab his ponytail, basically. Like, grab his ponytail and his shoulder to, like, pull him up. All right. All right. Let's, let, we're we're going to try this. And while I'm doing it, um, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna try this. Let's go. Ragnar will. Uh, have fuck advantage. it. God bless. Can I roll above an eight? Gonna use no. athletics to fight back at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as he just sort of thwats you away. We are going to uh, we tried tried grappling. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just try the other method. I'm just gonna punch his head and punch him down. I try to whack him real good. Yeah, it's like yeah, okay, it's like all right. If you're not gonna go up, fucking go down. And uh, we will try to storm strike the. Or no, I I can pump that in there. If let me see, let me just double check. Alright, I can roll it if it hits. Alright, 29. That's gonna hit him. Alright, as I'm gonna use I'm gonna use pressure and you guys are gonna see like for the first time dr like Drug's arm like his, he's got like these tattoos on his arm that are light that that are kinda glowing blue as he goes to punch down as it's electrical. As it's uh it's nineteen and Ragnar goes fifteen feet. All right. As he 
boom, gets hit with this punch, sparks with bits of lightning as he goes flying backwards um, off the back of the uh, the thing here. He's got to make a con save. Oh, he's got to make a con save. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes! Uh, it, it's a 16, not a 17. That's okay. He fails it. All right. What he happens? Has he... On a, he has disadvantage on attack rolls until the start of my next turn. All right, so he, he continues to have that because I think he was affected with it last time. Yep. yep. Uh, I have one more of those. So he's like sparking with lightning. And I will use my bonus action to enter a rage. And All right. that will end my turn. As... Sure, we'll stay right there. All right, El Chad. He's muted. El Chad might be gone. Nope, I'm here. I just forgot right. I was muted twice. All right. Oh. So I'm fucking tiny. This guy. You're as tall as back. Bingo, who's right next to you. You look right about you. You look the right size to me. I am going to pick the strategic move. Lean out the window. And, uh... How many people is this? That's five out there? Uh, There's one, two, six of us three. out here. Actually, There's seven. six out there right now. Yar is up loot. at the front. Alright, well... Four of you can have a block. Hashtag blast. Hashtag blast. blast. And then El Chad's gonna sit down and buckle himself in. <laughs> nice. He's not trust. Who, who are you blessing, El Chad? Uh, whoever wants it. Um, Maybe the melees. Yeah, yeah the melees probably. probably. The melees. Yeah. I'll take it. Gladly. What's the range on that bless? Uh, Thirty, 30 feet. feet. Never mind. Oh, oh yeah. You say it's way up on the dragon. Who says going to tame that I, dragon? I do want to draw attention to Yars, who is being <laughs> possibly falling off of the thing soon. Oh. Well, I mean, the e-brake <laughs> e was hit. Are we still moving? You're moving backwards oh, at the moment. Oh, we're moving backwards. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The momentum is sliding forward still, but you are slowing down, basically. Okay. I will take the, uh, a blast if that's all right with everybody. Yeah. All right. And the gang's blessed. The gang's all blessed. You said it was just melee, melee heroes. Yeah, there's four melee people out there. I think, at least for my count. You would have to upcast it one spell slot to get Yars too, or if Yars one of y'all. Yars doesn't need it. Okay. He doesn't need that blast. Three. So <laughs> Horus. Uh, Horus is blessed. Horus, uh, Droga, and Baps are blessed. Uh, and is that it for El Chad? As you buckle in. Yep, that's it. All right, Baps. You see uh, Ragnar flying through the air, sparking with a, a bit of electricity after Droga hit him, and it's like rolling, basically. Uh, you can assume, much like last time, he's going to roll to his feet and then just kind of continue on. All right. And uh, the Rumbler's slowing down a bit? Yes, the Rumbler's losing speed because the brake's on. So basically, the back wheels aren't spinning. They're, like, locked in place. Uh, and but it's the momentum that's sort of driving the car forward. So like you're technically still in motion. All right. Baps feels a little uh, foolish for for throwing out his um, uh, what is it? His action surge <laughs> last session. No, it was appropriate. Yeah. All right. So yeah, he's going to fly forward to meet Ragnar as he's tumbling. Yeah. We can say Ragnar's still in the air if that if you, that thematically feels better to you. Sure. Yeah, Baps yeah. flies to him and swings a, a great overhang overhand uh, attack with his halberd as it leaves his hand the halberd 
grows exponentially as it slashes towards him. All right. And fingers crossed. Uh, oh, he crit fails. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, uh, roll 2d6 for me. Uh, sure. Wait, this is just thematic stuff. I just want to confirm it. All right, so mix. So as you swing the halberd down at him, he like kind of rights himself midair and grabs the end of your halberd. Uh, ooh, nice try. You can follow up however you like. Baps pulls it back. Is he able to pull it back out of his grip? Uh, I'll say you, you can pull it back, but it is going to pull him five feet towards you. Oh, that's fine. He pulls it back, pulling him forward. So you're like face a, to face with him, basically. Yeah, and he does a spin, kind of midair back spin, to do a, a horizontal slash, letting go of the halberd again. All right. Maybe kind of foolishly, but maybe he'll, he'll roll better than a one. All right, let's see it. Yes. That's gonna that hit him. Twenty-three for twenty-three damage. Ooh, all right, let's find this. Huh? Ooh, a nice slash as you ooh, slash across his uh, chest. Um, it's healing uh, a bit, but this, it's sort of like you're basically juggling him in the air with your hits. So you, boom, sliced across him again. All right. On the back He actually swing. looks like he's slowing down a bit. On the back swing, it's gonna come down again, and uh, Baps is gonna release it from the halberd from his hand again as it as it grows exponentially, and we'll right. press our luck. Yeah, as you boom hit him with this other hit. Uh, where are you like smacking him, by the way? Because we're like kind of in motion, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We're moving backwards, kind of away from the rumble. I pull him forward. So on the backswing, uh, that's going to hit him. Uh, maybe, I guess, um, on his right arm. All right, smack him in the right arm. He kind of goes, ah! And you feel yourself, like, hit bone. Um, As he gets knocked, I'll say this way. All right, as he's knocked away... The haft of the halberd comes up. Baps again releasing it from his grasp as it, the halberd grows to in its attack. All right. Uh, hold on just a minute, because I know that's right. going to miss. I'm not going to say nothing. But I haven't looked at the damage yet um, on purpose. Uh, but Baps is going to throw a precision attack onto that. All right. To add a d10 to the roll. All right, you're at 18 right now. Oh, With a seven, will hit. All right. So that's that half is going to come up and grow and just smack him in the gut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to roll that damage real quick. Or I'm not going to roll it down. I'm going to put the damage in. Dude. Hat hit him. Pretty, pretty fucking hard. Y y y your move, a asshole. Yeah. Okay, well, something is going to trigger, which is his furious warrior. Yeah. Um. So I'll say, because he is out of fury right now. So did that have the... Yeah, furious warrior only needs 15 damage. Um. So as you hit him, he like grabs the end of your... Uh, the end of your halberd that like hit him in the gut and he's like Ugh. all right Ugh. let's trade blows then uh and he's gonna yank you towards him basically and he is gonna multi-attack you uh, um first thing, looking forward to this all he's right. gonna violent strike you he does have this disadvantage, funny. so it's going to be a regular attack. It's going to be regular rolls on these because he is uh, reckless. Uh, 20 is going to hit. All right. 
Wham! Uh, for 17. 17, shaving three. Um, and then he is going to... Da, 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 da. He's going to hit you with that con save. With the con save? Yes. Or be stunned. Uh, okay. Until the end of his current turn. Oh, you are within 10 feet of uh, Horus as well. You are. Oh, and you are not true. stunned. Even without Horus's thing. He clocked you really hard, but you managed to keep your consciousness. Um, He is going to Divine Slug you. A 16. 16? Oh, hold on. I think because Babs' armor is all fucked up, I think that's just going to hit the AC, unfortunately. Oh. Um, all right. I think... I hate to do it, but uh, I think I'm going to yeah. pop the reaction to do a parry and reduce the damage a little bit. All right. Um, so that is going to be... A D10 plus your dex. Yeah, shave three and then shave... Oh, wonderful. Oh, shave three. So, four... so shave six all day. Six as you, boom, get hit by it. Uh, and then finally, you see him lift his fist up and it glows. Those runes on his body glow. And he, just with the savagest of hits, clocks you for that third time. Let's see if it hits. Which it does. Is, is going to hit, yeah. All right, it's going to hit you for 16 damage. And then All you right. need to make a con save. Uh, you're going to get a plus four to this because you are close to Horus. Oh, good. Plus four will make it 18. As you pass, you boom, get <sighs> hit, and you feel his fist start to dig into your skin. Um, but you feel almost like divine intervention as his fist slips past. Uh, maybe from the ice, maybe from luck. You're not sure. Uh, you also see his wounds healing a little. Um, not by much, but by a little. Uh, and that is it wait, for wait, his, wait. Uh, his... Wait, doesn't he have a fourth attack now? Oh, yes, he does have a fourth attack. I'm very Hold sorry. On, let me let me uh, put his <laughs> damage in real quick because it is a good deal of damage. Yes. See, Twenty-nine plus. And don't 16. forget to reduce it by so your... another forty-five. Uh oh, minus three. so forty-two damage. Ah, oh, yuck. Baps is very bloody. Well, Baps is about to get one more hit. Uh, or is he? Yeah, he's going to do it one more. He's going to throw a, a pretty wide haymaker at Baps. Uh, a very cruel and nasty hit. All right. That's going to hit. Uh, As he whacks you. 22 more damage to that, and I need another con save or be paralyzed from the blow. That's fine. I, I'm not terribly afraid of it because I, well, I do have a plus four and I do have bless, but that would only get me to 18. You are near Horus, so there's plus four to that. So yeah, that is and the you bless. are, so you're at 14 right now with your roll. And then I need that bless, I guess, to get you the rest of the way. Oh my gosh. I need a, I need to roll a four. Wait, no, fuck that. I have... One more indomitable. Yeah, <laughs> indomitable. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get paralyzed. Baps does not want to get paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, especially rolling a two. Okay, so that's going right. to pass. As you pass, boom, he just absolutely unloads these hits on you, uh, having pulled you close to him uh, using your halberd and sort of traded a good chunk of blows with you. Um, him and you go tumbling down. Um, I imagine you're still kind of flying in pace with the the rumbler. Um, and he has basically gotten to his feet and is chasing at a similar pace, right? All right. Um, keeping, we, the, keeping the momentum. We're moving place with the slowing rumbler. 
All right, Yars, I'm going to need a, or, well, I guess it's our med first, but I'm going to need a perception check when we get to Yars. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, our med pokes his head up out of this, uh, he whispers something into Jeeves' ear. All right. And he pokes his head up here, and he look, he saw Yars go down the, uh, the windshield, and he goes... Yars, you big oaf. Get in there. And uh, he casts haste on Yars. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. Of course, heart, yeah. Yars feels emboldened. Emboldened. And uh, let's see. I think... I think... Jeeves is going to also cast a spell. And he's, as he does it, he's just going to stay inside the Rumbler, of course, and yell, Ragnarok! <laughs> and cast Rolotham's Psychic Lance. Nice. Oh. Uh, oh, he can't you, see him. Can't yeah, see you him. do have he to see do them. I, I was going to point that out. Oh, Ooh. okay. Then, then instead of what he does, is he also, you know, Ahmed... Sneaks back into the rumbler, and then Jeeves pops over, and he's like, "You need no, a hand, no. buddy." He can't over to you Yars. By speaking it. Say that again. You can, you can either cast it as ranged, or you can speak the name. Oh, alternatively, alternatively you can utter the creature's name. That's right. If the named creatures. Oh yeah, range, gains no benefit from cover. Hey, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then that's what he does. He casts Rolfham's Psychic Glance. Ragnar. All right. Ah! Please incapacitate this guy. Please. All right. I need an int save. His int save is zero. Right? It's an int save. Yeah. Ooh. 14. Uh, we'll hit him. See that 10d6. Maybe intelligence spells are the way to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My marine has so many. They they well, are really, very but... very strong. Yeah, right. it's not looking good. It is. It's not that one. All right, thirty three damage. You boom hit him with it. It's a pretty nasty, uh, nasty blow. As he uh becomes staggered, Baps, you see him sort of fall back a bit from this uh, this sort of staggeredness. His back sort of uncomfortably sort of backwards. He's got a headache. Yeah. Alright. And then uh, my two little uh, let's see. As a, bo- uh, as a bonus action I guess Jeeves is going to give Yars a uh, a bardic inspiration. All right, and then they're just gonna cower in the rumbler and let everyone else do the, the dirty work. All right, Yars, I need that perception check. Okay. Let's see. Um, as you're sort of sitting here at the front of the rumbler, you yeah. see the dragon swooping, its wing flapping, and every once in a while you hear like cracking and snapping. Uh, Muse, you will just see this. You didn't have to make a roll for any of this because you're on top of it. Um, but occasionally you see wounds start to open up in Fafnir. Um, seemingly at, at random. It, uh, first it's on its back, its chest. Um, some of it ends up on its wing. Uh, its right wing, for example. Um, but that's what you see. Anyway, what does Jars do? Yars, <clears throat> I get. Does Yars notice this as well? The snapping and cracking. Yes, uh, Yars okay. will notice it as well. All right, Yars is. Uh, he's gonna pull himself back up onto the uh, onto the rumbler. Does he have to yeah. make a save for that? Uh, you have to make an athletics check to try and climb your way up. All right, let's see if Yars can do that. Twenty will do it as you're able to kind of. Uh, uh, Luckily, your incredible speed yeah. uh, aids you. 
Yeah. And then uh, Yars is like, I better get in there. And uh, he runs over here to get right in front of our friend Zin. I believe he has extra speed because of haste. And he throws his axe. Let's see. Yeah, that is 20 feet away. So it's within range. So he throws his axe uh, three times at... Right. Actually, if, if he's incapacitated, does that give advantage or anything like that? I, I no, believe it does. Just, it doesn't. It, it, oh, no, it doesn't. It just you just can't, can't make it turn. actions or reactions. I see. Okay, okay. Then what Yars is going to do is he's going to use his uh, Bushido fighting spirit as his bonus action. And he's going yeah. to give himself uh, true strikes on these. He's going to get advantage on his weapon attack. Yeah. Course. And uh, there we go. He's going to... He's going to... One, two, three. And then... Uh, two uh, of them will hit. Okay. And then uh, he's going to use his hasted action to also throw it. Uh, that Which last one is... is a, you have advantage though, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so this, the last one will hit. Okay. Um, so what's going to happen is uh, a couple things are going to happen. Give me a, one moment. You, whoo, whoo, the two hits. Hit Ragnar, blood roaring down his mouth. Uh, these huge wounds in his chest. Um, he stands there for a brief moment. You kind of hesitate on that third hit as mm. Ragnar sits still. And then... Fafnir lets out this horrible roar. And when that happens, uh, Muse, you'll see the chest of Fafnir start to glow and drip with magma. Uh, and the wounds on Ragnar are going to heal very, very quickly. So basically, Fafnir is getting hurt going to take uh, 40 points of damage and Ragnar is going to heal 40 points of damage All right. uh, regaining consciousness again he's just yelling out in just pure rage and Baps for a brief moment I mean it's kind of unsettling he screams as blood drains down his uh, out his tear ducts uh, and out of his mouth as he is just in a pure fury. Mm. Uh, eerily similar to someone you know. Looks a little familiar, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you whoo, throw the next one. Boom! Hitting him with it. Uh, and he just sort of rips it out of his body. And he is very, very angry. And unlike before, he does not seem to be very talkative. Uh, Yars is going to shout out to him. Come on, then. And then end his turn. All right. Uh, well, a couple things are going to happen because his thing triggered uh, when he was hit with the lance. Well, uh, it's a good thing he can't take actions. Uh, that would be the case. If not for uh, his yelling oh. and blood out of his mouth. <laughs> uh, so that turn ends uh, but he is now purged of any negative effects um, oh, damn. Oh, he did heal actually a little bit more that takes a little bit more uh, it is then his turn so he is going to heal a bit more and he's going to take some more uh, and he is pissed where is he going? Oh, I know where he's going. He... Da, 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 da. Advantage is trying to attack. Uh, just as a reminder, he does have this mythic haste. And he is very, very fast to begin with. Uh, oh, wait, no. I have to say what Fafnir does. Sorry. So Fafnir 
swipes forward, but in that sort of uh, pained roar, slides this way, sort of spinning as he does, swinging his tail around. So you get this impression that it is going to smash its tail into the rumbler um, as it slides onto the ground. You know, this huge tail looming. Mm. Uh, there, can we... Yeah, that's fine. All right. Ragnar's turn. I know what he's doing. He is going to... You know what? He's pissed. What is he going to do? Yeah, he's got two actions. So he's going to disengage. Uh, so while disengaging, he is going to run and leap into the rumbler. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Hell, Chad. He looks fucking furious at Jeeves. <laughs> um, and guess what? He's going to attack Jeeves with his second action. Master, please. Oh, no. Master, please. Uh, 29 hit Jeeves? Yes, it does. All right. Jeeves gets boom, hit. Uh, smacking Maybe. into basically the window of the, uh, the car. And I'll say it's probably not prone by this. As the, uh, he just fucking hits Jeeves really hard. And then he turns to you, Ahmed. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to swing a hit at you, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that uh, hits two. 22 damage? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to need a con save. Okay. I'm going to roll it. Actually, hold on. I'm going to do a strength save. A strength save? Okay. Yes. I'm definitely not good at that. Oh, that's well. All right, so you will take that 22. Okay. Um, you are going to get knocked back as you do. The, the fucking window and door just boom, break. And you guys see Ahmed get knocked out of the rumbler. Uh, oh boy how what bingo's invisible I believe bingo is invisible El Chad is buckled in his seat and I don't think he fully registered I think he's still pissed at Jeeves <laughs> um, he's going to go over to Jeeves who is laying basically prone in this seat uh, and I think he's going to beat the crap out of him. I'm oh, sorry, no. uh, oh, Armin. <laughs> he's going to beat the fuck out of Chiefs. Yeah. Um, Divine Slug? Master, save me! Master, save me! And Chiefs uh, <clears throat> falls into a... He just dissipates into snow. God. He, okay, so when this happens, like, Bloco, you see Ragnar literally punch a hole in Jeeves, like chest. Um, and Jeeves goes, so this is what the icy cold touch of death, and then he just shrivels into snow. What? Uh, and then Bloco, unfortunately, he is going to clock you. Fair enough. Oh, he misses. So like Jeeves, oh, yeah. Jeeves snowy visage, and well, you're used to fighting unarmed, I imagine. So you like duck as he punches the headrest off of your uh, seat. Um, and then he actually still has a bit of movement. So I think he punches the headrest off of your seat, just lets out this guttural just, and leaps back out of the car, uh, onto the roof. And you guys see he is just covered in fucking blood and snow. Uh, am I able to take a, an opportunity attack? Uh, yeah, if you'd like. 
I'll just I'll just throw a punch back. Scroll. Here we go. Twenty six. That's gonna hit. There we go. We didn't trigger the thing. He didn't trigger the thing. Dealt him a bit of damage. Boom. That's actually why he missed you. You like thwacked him and and sort of moved his momentum. Um, all right, Muse, the dragon has landed. It has slid across the ice and is now spinning, basically swinging this tail around to smack the rumbler. Now, question for you. Is this dragon big enough to be considered a surface? Uh, yeah, easily. All right, Muse is gonna walk, uh, um, run to its open gate uh in the chest area okay and uh she's gonna uh she's gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna move you kind of where i think it is she's gonna uh a mask cowl dawn over her face as she dash her arms will punch five feet away where the opening is punching into where the heart is yeah okay well i was gonna tell you as you get down there you see this like magma heart pumping inside of this creature's chest Uh, both of them will hit because you do have advantage during this. Um, and you know what? I'll spend a key. Uh, key, uh, additional attacks only one attack, right? Uh, yes. All right, well, I'll spend a key for another, uh, astral arm. Two attacks. Oh, it's two attacks? Uh, yeah, when you spend a key to Fury of Blows, it's two attacks. All right, so this first one I'm assuming hits. All right, they're all going to hit. Uh, no, I'll spend another key. I don't think you can, because it's a key and a bonus action. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Basically, it, it lets you... Could I you... Stunning Strike? You can attempt it. Yeah, I'll do a Stunning Strike. All right, let me let me uh, do this damage first real quick. So that's... That is... That's a whopping uh, 29, right? Yeah. 10, 20. I oh, know it's four hits. So it's yeah, it uh, 10, 20, 29, 34. 34. And uh, that's 34 uh, because he's the astral is force. All right. As you boom, 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 hit this thing hard. Uh, as you do, you he guys are seeing. Muda, Muda, Muda. Yeah. You guys see Muse. Uh, what color is your astral arms? It's like blue fiery ish. Yeah. You see this blue flame woof, underneath Fafnir. And it's just boom, 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 punching at its heart. And as it is, it seems like almost every hit is causing Ragnar to cough up a bit more blood. And then a uh, stunning strike. Uh, as you boom, spend a key and stunning strike. Uh, let's see, where is a con save, right? Ooh, yeah. Pretty yeah. good at them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it, woo, you hit it. Uh, it doesn't seem stunned by this, but it seems more staggered by the punches to the heart. And uh, that will end Muse, as she's just standing right on the chest without her arms. Yeah. Good just right, 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 boom, 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 hitting its heart, and, like magma is just shooting everywhere. All right, Bloco. Okay, what's the state of the Rumbler's momentum? Are we we're still sliding? You're sliding backwards in a straight line. Backwards. Um, you don't feel like you're gonna slide backwards enough to avoid the tail swipe. Wait, why? Wait, why is it sliding backwards? Because if we were going towards the left and I hit the e brake, wouldn't we be sliding forward? Did I miss something? That's it. You, you're, I'm sorry. You're sliding forward, but you're slowing down. Okay. But he, it landed, so it's basically keeping in line with you. I'm trying to like, yeah, set the board up at least so it's it's somewhat manageable. Yeah, so the tail's about to come at the rumbler. Is it more of like a side swipe yeah. or a downward crushing yeah. thing? Um, It's coming from the side, so it's basically swinging from the north as this dragon is, like, spinning around. Okay. Because um... imagine it, like, landed on the ice on all fours and mm -hmm. is rotating clockwise, and its tail is swinging around in this wide arc. 
Okay, then can I try to like drive underneath it? Like, yeah, to, you got to a avoid boost. The tail? Yeah, I'll boost to get underneath it. All right. Uh, I'm going to need some deft driving from you. Uh, a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Where did I put that? What do you say there he gets go. advantage for the recent attack on Fafnir? Uh, no, probably not. No, okay. we're, we start we start with our gear, with our legs or our wheels sliding. So, yeah. That that we'll say that a makes 19. a normal attack. Yeah, nineteen. As you, uh, hit that boost and begin swerving as its uh, arms and legs are stomping on the ice, causing it to crack underneath you guys. Um, and then, shit. Oh, I need to put Fafnir in the back. That's that. When I do this, okay. So there is one, one side sorted downside. Our med will be further from the car. No, he's <laughs> going with the same momentum. We'll get to that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> um, hold on. I'm gonna move everybody real quick so that they were a little more center to kind of work with. Yeah. Um. So you guys are basically weaving underneath. Uh, Fafnir, is it stomping wildly? Uh, unfortunately, Ahmed, you are also sliding underneath. Um, not nearly as fast as the Rumbler is driving. Um, as like a foot goes boom and stomps next to you as you're like, oh shit! Um, but with that death, yeah, with that, you feel, you say that, but then you feel like a soft, uh, breeze go by you. And you know Jeeves is gone. Oof. <laughs> uh, a little bit of sadness need, in our We need sorry. a moment of silence. Okay, hold on. Time out, guys. I got it right here. The muck will go on. R.I.P. Jeeves. This is going right, to be right, the title right. of the video. <laughs> Much sad. Much sad. Isn't this in the arms of an angel, in the arms of the angel or whatever? Yes. yes. In a recorder, yes. Yeah, in the recorder. <laughs> Jeeves. This is how Jeeves, you were a good this, snowman. This, this, is how we Ten depress, minutes. this is how we depress the dragon to death, like we were talking about earlier. Would you, yeah. Would you like to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> he could have been a Jeeves man. All right, let's get back to it now. Back. Morning's all right. done. All right, so uh, so that's I think driving is pretty much all Bloco's really going to get to do. Um, yeah. Vinny, are, since we're underneath it, are we Vinny. able to see this heart area now? Yes, you actually see Muse just like like punching this heart thing with her spectral arms. Okay. Uh, Vinny's going to drop the Talos voice for just a second and be like. Get the fuck away from that thing! And he's gonna cast, uh... Thickening Radiance. On, uh, uh... Where are you casting it? I'm aiming directly for the heart thing. So I'm hoping to All have right. that... I'm hoping to have that be affected at the start of the dragon's turn. I feel okay, like when it's... When the creature moves into the spell for the first time, or starts its area. Okay. So would it do it now, I guess? No, no, because we ruled in bird law that, uh, and also I think uh, Jeremy, whatever his name is, is like. Oh, it's uh, on the start of its. Yeah, turn. it's on the start of its turn, or it has to voluntarily move into it, but right. presumably it starts its turn there. Um, All right. It is thirty feet in a circle, so yeah, I'm that's worried true. it well, might hit me, Muse. I would probably try to move it so that it's at least on not the hitting the rubber. Side. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to make it so it's not hit, not. If, if I'm able to move it to where it won't hit Muse so much, but definitely touch okay. the heart. I will. I'll give you this. I'll give you. I'll give you this. You can either do it close to it, mm -hmm. which will affect Muse, um, but you'll get two rounds of it being affected by it. Okay. Or you can do it away from Muse, kind of at the tail Drop end. Drop it on her. Oh, I was gonna say Vinny, and you'll just get one round. Vinny is now remembering that he's never met Muse before, so what does he care? <laughs> give me a reason to heal. Yeah, give, give her a reason. That to little heal. girl. Yeah. Sorry, uh, lady. Uh, I'll make it up to you. 
And yeah, a so sickening he green it. orb appears. And then, uh, uh, sort of. Yes. Uh, and then he's gonna turn. Where is Ragnar in all this? Is he close enough? Um, he is. He's in front oh, of yeah, you. Oh yeah, that's right. He's in front Here. of me. So yeah, so then I'll look down, I guess. <laughs> Back to Ragnar. Yeah. And uh, he is again. Blood is draining down his eyes like tears. His eyes are, you know, filled. His mouth is is got blood all in it. Very similar to when Na completely fucking hulks out. Vinny's just gonna be like. But what is it? He's gonna be spending a sorcery point to cast Eldritch Blast, but he's gonna say, What's it like to get killed by your father a bunch? <laughs> um, Ragnar does not respond. He is not giving that cocky sort of reply. He just grits his teeth and he gives you this just pure look of anger. Uh, and you cast... Well, hold on. Uh, uh, last on him, is it? Either way. This can all end. But yeah, I'll cast Eldritch Blast. Yeah. One, two... Please. Why is it rolling two D10s? What the fuck? It's yeah, rolling three rolling D10s. One, right? two, three... It got the damage on the... Firebolts, right? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, it's the same roll. Can I just roll damage for that? Since that's a d20 and I just misclicked. Yeah, t two two of them will hit. Okay. Uh, there. Double 11 damage. All right. As you boom, boom hit him for that. He grits his teeth pissed. Hunk hunkers down a bit. Uh... And he is going to charge towards you. <laughs> nice. And he's going to clock you, Vinny. Oh, yeah. He's, he's almost certainly going to hit. All right. Let's see. Uh, which one is he going to do? Probably the big one, whatever that is. He's got a couple big ones. I am, like, tapping into, like, centuries old trauma, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty bad. He's probably going to do the nastiest one. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of expected it. I, I'd hope to get my one-liner off, but then I, like, forgot in the middle of my talking. Um, What is the nastiest one? He's got a couple here. It's an attack roll, it's right? It's this one. I've got a chance, right? Yeah. You got a chance. You're telling He's me this chance. But this. And probably the nastiest one is just his normal divine slug, I think, is probably the worst. Pretty brutal. 26. Oh, it's at advantage? Damn. Oh, because it's fury, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think what I have will change anything, so I'm eating it, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I'm eating it. All right, he whacks you for 30 damage as he just blocks you. That, uh, is that it for Vinny? Is that all you got, son? And that's it for Vinny. All right. Actually, roll 2d6. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nope. All right. I don't know if this is good or bad. Now, I'm going to do bad. Oh, it is bad, but it's. I'm trying to determine what exact bad, and I think I've come up with the idea. Uh,. Vinny, he looks fucking pissed at you. <laughs> uh, Horace. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, I got to roll a con save. He punched me. Yeah, go for no. it. Let's see it. You pass, right. barely, by barely one. pass by barely. one. Yeah, sick. Yeah. All right, Horus. All right, uh, Horus is. Uh, I mean, he's. We got to deal with one thing at a time here. Like, yes, we are underneath the giant dragon, but there's also this god trying to kill my friend. So I'm gonna step forward. I'm going to say, come on, Lucky Hammer, and I'm going to try and bash <laughs> this guy. All right. Right in the kisser. 
You are going to have last. advantage. Oh, and I have advantage. Why do I have advantage? Uh, because he is reckless attacking uh, oh, pretty right, right, wildly right. at this point. Cool. All right, you son of a bitch. 27, nice. baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am going to, I am going to go ahead and pop a Divine Smite um, at level 3. Level 3 Divine Smite. So first I'll roll the, the regular Warhammer damage, which includes my Divine Smite, or my Improved Smite. 18 plus 11 is uh, 39? No. 29. 29. 29, and then uh, it's going to be 3 I'll get my calculator out. 48. <laughs> an additional 48 uh, Radiant here. Not D6. It's no, double. Oh, double. It's double. So it's, it's double. 88. Damn. Boom. Ooh. Fucking pass. Now, he's come Ooh, back from the dead, so he's undead, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wham. I'll throw them All dice. Right. That is going to knock him down as he <clears throat> arches backwards. Again, blood dripping down his uh, his face. Um, As he, he is still standing, but you can see almost like the life in his eyes go away. But then, I smite off here, lets, me, you son lets of out a bitch. A, yeah, there's a boom. This holy light comes pulsing down, hits Ragnar. Um, there is a pause. But then, he just starts yelling, blood gushing out of his mouth, as Fafnir also does. Uh, Musa, because you're right by the heart, you see the heart pumping faster and faster, as if trying to keep up with the wounds that are being uh, inflicted on Ragnar. It is going to take 40 points of damage, and he is going to gain 40 hit points. He's going to get a turn, though. Uh, yes, he will get a turn, but you only attacked once. Oh. That is true. I'll swing again. Crit. Crit, crit, crit. <laughs> Second crit. Second crit. Second crit. Second crit. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You yeah. fucking no, did it. Shit. Get them scripts. scripts. All right. <laughs> Let, let's see it. Are you going to pump right. another? Um, Do it. Yeah, I mean, fuck Do it. it. This Do is it. the Do final it. boss, basically, right? Like, I'm going to I'm gonna pump another third level spell slot. I have no more third level spell slots, but I'm going to roll this damage. So that's 20 uh, plus 15, so that's 35. 35. And then I'm going to roll another 8v8. Another 34. Uh, oh, shit. That's, <laughs> oh, God. That's uh, 69. Nice. Nice. 69. Nice. 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 <laughs> All right. It's going to boom. Drop him again. Let's have one final roar. Uh, and when it does. Uh, Fafnir's heart pumps. Uh, Musa, as you're seeing it pumping, you see uh, bloody magma being shot from its body. Uh, as it looks like it, it ain't gonna last maybe a little bit longer. Like, it is on its last legs in the same way Ragnar is. Oh, shit. All right, Horus. Uh, holy well, hell, Horus. Nice. I think... Yeah, Horus yeah. is going to look around. Horus, you feel Yasni with you. Yeah, I'm going to look around to see if El Chad saw that. But El <laughs> Chad is in the rumbler and didn't. Oh, El Chad's on, in his seat. Can I, can, I, can I roll a perception? Yeah. Roll a perception. Okay. Uh, Horus the Holy Hammer. Horus the Holy Hammer. El Chad. <laughs> You, you don't know why. You don't see what happened. But you feel Yasni's presence. Feel proud you know, of Horus. Yeah. You, you just... I imagine, like, he, he smirks no, and nods. Good, Dad. Oh, wait a second. Dad? <laughs> I mean, El Chan? I'm not paying friend, no child buddy. support. <laughs> you did good, Horus. I did good. Did real good. And then put, it, put his hands on his hips. Um, and and is that it for Horus? I think that's going to be it for Horus. Bingo is going to pop his head out the hole. 
and he is going to attempt to shoot uh, the dragon. The dragon's still up. Yes. It's is hard. Ragnar, is is Visible. Ragnar still up or is he down? He is still up. He basically hasn't fallen down yet, but he is, now that you guys know, siphoning life from the dragon. You know, I think Bingo's going to shoot, try to shoot him right in the ass. <laughs> All right. Poke his head up from the underneath, and he's going to try and shoot him right in the butt. Hey yeah. Yeah. Magic b -b 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 25 will hit. Oh, man. What if I did another crit? That would have been hilarious. That would have been fucking wild. That would have been cheating. Uh, and we for 19. Yeah, you guys would have caught me at that known. point. You guys would have known I, I had figured out how to hack the mainframe. We And we know you did. Yeah. I mean... As you poof, hit him, it, it sticks into him. He rips it out and sort of breaks the, uh, the arrow. Um, you all are going to see that his wounds aren't healing very fast. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, Bingo's going to make a fart noise and with his mouth like Poof. and then he's gonna jump back back down and, and try to hide under the seats all right it's ragnar's turn because his furious warrior is triggered oh no now here's the thing you look like talos in front of him <laughs> and it's okay and, but also the paladin beat the shit out of him well, so i guess Vinny's gonna say something to him as he as he comes back okay. he's gonna say it's okay you can call me daddy. All right, I'm going to need you to roll a persuasion check with advantage. Oh, I was really just like talking to him, but sure. Where is that <laughs> advantage? Yeah, he is in a, a blind rage. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. So it, Plus it's going to determine 27. what. All right. What do you want? You're trying to provoke him? Vinny doesn't really know. He's just he's just trying to make sure that this guy's going to go down. <laughs> so if he's the target, he hasn't really taken. I guess he has taken some damage. Um, All right, he actually gets four of these. Yeah, I think Vinny's about to be unconscious or dead. Um. All right, Vinny. First hit, he winds it back and whacks you with this rather cruel hit. Oh. Uh, for oh. twenty. Uh, and then okay. I need you to make a con save. You get a plus five to this because El Chad is literally sitting beneath you. Okay. Uh, let me minus that 20 real quick. Uh, uh, con save. Yeah, yeah. Con save for the concentration. I uh, know this is for to be paralyzed. Yeah. As he clocks you straight over the, the mouth. Uh, not at advantage, oh. so... I'm paralyzed. Uh, should okay. I do? Does paralyzed kill concentration, or do I need to roll for that? Uh, I, 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 I would just have you roll. Okay. Uh, not at advantage. Nope. Um. It doesn't say so. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, this is from the damage from getting whacked. Yeah, yeah this I guess. is from the damage for the con check. Oh is, god. Is okay. Keep, is fourteen enough to keep my concentration up for now, or? It is. Oh. Okay, but the next three attacks will probably take it down. The next three attacks are right. going to be pretty brutal. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, Vinny's going to be unconscious. Paralyzed, uh, I think, means that he auto-crits if he hits he, you. He yes. does. Oh, God. Yeah, well, then Vinny's probably about to be laid out in this next attack. He might be dead. Vinny on He's going to divine slug you. Oh, oh well, well I didn't crit. even have to go out of my way to do it. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure that's over 44 damage. Yeah, that's over 44 damage, so Vinny's unconscious and not dead yet. Alright, I need... Does Vinny... I guess his, his thing ends, so you are not Talos anymore. Yeah, I'm not Talos <laughs> anymore. I guess he kind of knew that, though. Maybe. Well, now he does. Now he does. I guess he's going to turn his attention to Horus. Uh, Horus is going to look a little uh concerned all right horus he is gonna punch you 25 uh that misses no i'm just kidding that yeah whack <laughs> for 20 for 20 uh, all right all right um and then he's gonna make you make a deck save all right 
Let me record my damage that I just took here. Uh, deck save. I'm not super dexterous. Oh, I don't have advantage, so it's just, well, I guess. Nice. I nice, you passed. 23, oh, though. Yeah. All right, as he, he basically has grabbed your shield and he punched you. Uh, ah! And then he is going to, oh, he's going to savage you. Go. 21? 13. Oh, it's an advantage. 21, yeah. a 21 does hit me. All right, but 21 bludgeoning. Just barely. And then I need a con save. Oh, it's or you so begin 21, bleeding. 21 damage. Ooh. And I need to make an 18 con save or pass out, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. 18. No. no. 17. Do you, do you oh, wait. Have I have bless. You have bless. I am So blessed. you might make it. Well, I think he well, does make it. Guarantee yeah, it. Yeah, you ought to make it. Yeah. All right. As you are not bleeding from this blow. Oh, oh! But I am very hurt, and I sort you of are... like I, I, I sort of go limp up against the shield that he's holding. All right. And I believe that is it for his uh, his additional turn. Uh, so he's just wailing on uh, on old Horus here. Oh. And he just beat the hell out of Vinny. Uh, then, is there an angle from the tumbler where I have uh, access to the wound in his chest? Yeah, you can see it. It's right above you. Oh, it's right above me. Like I can see straight up the hole. Yeah, because it is like this huge thing. It's like a, a tear in its chest. Oh my god. Okay, sick. Uh, Zen, as soon as I find his character sheet. Hmm. Oh shit, you know, there. never mind. He is going to use his last uh, third level spell slot and shoot a lightning bolt right at his heart. Alright. Yeah! Oh. Boom! Uh, let's do it. Fafnir's deck save. Ooh. 15 does not do it. Nope. As you. Boom! This massive bolt of lightning shoots through right past you, Musei, and rips through Fafnir as it lets off this horrible roar. Um, the flame inside of it begins to die off. Boom, boom, boom. Its heart slowing down. Um, and it is going to uh, begin to fall forward. Oh, no. Uh, uh, as... Uh, Bloco, you'll see this looming shadow start to loom over the front of the rumbler as this thing is about to collapse down. Musei, you are on the bottom of it. Oh, no. Um, but the thing you notice in after you do it is that Ragnar's runes begin to dissolve a bit, almost as if they're sort of dispelling off his body. And he nice. is, he's panting pretty heavily. Like, you could tell... He's actually run out of stamina. Um, okay. Uh, what is it to pick Vinny up? Uh, that is a grapple. Uh, or so like that's probably an action. Him. That's probably an action, I imagine, to, to action, drag okay, him. Okay, not a bonus action? Okay. Um... I mean, if he was dead, I'd say he was an object. <laughs> but okay. he is not dead, he is unconscious. Okay, so action to try to pull him away. I do, uh, I yeah. do have pots if you just want to feed me one of my pots. There's even one in the wolf pelt sling. Is is that a free action or like a use item? Unfortunately, it would be a bonus action if you use it, Vinny. It's not a bonus action if somebody else uses right. it. Yeah, I'm just letting bonus everybody... Because okay. he, he has the, the sash, which means you can drink a potion as a bonus action. Okay, can I um, feed him a potion as a bonus action? No, it's an action, uh, is what no. you just said. Oh, action, it'd be right. an action, yeah. Um, I mean, Ansel could do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what's <laughs> going to happen. I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to use cunning action to disengage so that Ragnar right. doesn't have any chance of hitting me. And then I'm right. going to dip out the bat. Or... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go into the tumbler. It seems pretty sturdy. And hide in the back. All right. <laughs> 
We thought that before. Um, <laughs> and then Ansel is indeed going to rush to Vinny's side and use his action to feed him a uh, a potion. Hell yeah, thanks. Uh, All right. And then I oh. think that's towards the end of. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, was that thing that El Chad did last time where full heal still in effect? Because I forget the timing on that. Uh, it might have only been like a minute, but it might have been an hour. It's it's probably been done by now. Okay, cool. Just check it. Because we're that. we're pretty far in it. Hell yeah, good rolls. Way too. Yeah, oh. that'll be Ansel's turn. Yeah, maybe That's I shouldn't. Maybe I should yeah. uh, keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh. Uh, but you are still on the ground being loomed over by the guy who did it. Yep. Um, Ansel will make like as... a shh noise towards Vinny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he is distracted beating on uh, Horus. Uh, all right. Uh, Droga. All right. Droga's going to take wound off of his back. And it's gonna start. Um, it's gonna start crackling electricity. As uh, I mean, he raged last time, so we're gonna post that um, for reference. As I'm gonna throw it at Ragnar. All right. Uh, that is gonna hit him. Okay. Uh, the first attack. Uh, it, it is. Um, 21 altogether, and I'm gonna uh, the lightning damage is gonna push him back 10 feet. All right, he goes sliding back 10 feet as it's uh, gonna as when the, the axe. Oh, I'm go, sorry. go ahead. I was gonna say, when the axe goes returning back, all of you will see that wound on his chest not healing as he looks down at it. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, as he's just laughing. As I'm going to, um, I'm gonna step forward, and I'm gonna hit him again with it. I'm not throwing it this time. Um, turn that. Okay. Oh, I need that wrong button, Rachel. All right. Now that will hit. As I'm doing a uh, 26. All right. That boom again. Another swipe on him. Uh, does not heal. <laughs> As I'm gonna push him right here. All right. You sort of like drive it into his like liver, basically. Yeah. And um, we're gonna go for a bonus action uh, on arm or on arm fist. As uh, it's not gonna be a wound, it's not gonna be that. It will be a storm strike. It will be. And you can do that as a bonus action. Um, well, it's just an offhand attack. Oh, it's an offhand attack. Got it. Yeah. So, um, let me do something real quick. Um, I am proficient with it. I don't get to add strength to the. Do you add strength to the attack roll and not to the, uh... Wait, do you, I mean... Do you add, it's what, do you the, what do you get Alex, an offhand attack from? You get... You just get an off... Like, you can do an offhand attack. You just, like, if... Like, if you're proficient no, it, with it... No, it, it's gotta be a light you weapon. You can, yeah. And you um, can't do it with an arm. Okay. Oh, shit. Never mind. Because uh, otherwise, anybody who isn't a monk could just do the things monks do. Spears yeah, but it wouldn't be weapons. as cool. Only have one thing. It wouldn't be as cool. Spears? Spears <laughs> yeah. are light hand weapons, correct? Spear? No. I, no, I don't believe so. It's not They're light. They're versatile and thrown. Uh, They're oh. ranged, thrown, and versatile. Oh no, when Vinny got knocked down, his dagger slid on the gun. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, hold on. Don't say that because I will make her roll to determine if it's the healing dagger or not. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. You should do it. Thumb is... All, right. All right. What am I doing? Let's, let's... You got a dagger as a bonus action. Throw it. All right. I got a dagger as a bonus you action. You picked it up. Vinny dropped it. 
Okay. Uh, it will. Is it a plus one or a plus two weapon? It's no. neither. I don't think it's none of it. Okay, so it's just going to be a flat plus. Uh, let's just change this. It's a D four. It's just a dice roll. You don't get to add your your strength to the damage, but you can add it to the attack roll. Okay, that's fine. As all right. Oh. It did. Okay. That's gonna hit. Um, That's the same same thing. You're using strength. Okay, All right. and, and we'll storm strike it. Let's go. Vinny, uh, roll 2d6. Okay. Eight. <laughs> oh, you do uh, As you stab him with this, um, I need you to roll... What is it, Vinny? It's 2d4? For the healing dagger. <laughs> oh, I think he stepped... He may have stepped Sorry, away. Sorry, I was talking muted. Uh, it is... 2d4? It's, it's, a, it's a regular dagger damage plus a, healing, a small healing potion. So yeah, 2d4 plus 2 for the healing... All right. Oh my God, it's Ted. So you stab him? I did storm strike, so he's gonna make a con anyway. It's a really weird looking dagger you just stabbed him, and actually that wound did heal a little when you pulled it out. <laughs> okay. He's just kind of uh, confused. Anyway, he goes back no. 10, 10 more feet, and I'm gonna walk with him. Damn it, he Jericho, actually looks... why you keep pushing him away from me? What do we gotta do? Oh, it's, he's uh, Storm's uh, con save. Con save, got it, thanks. All right. Uh, he, seven, uh, he, 17 doesn't make it. 17 doesn't make it, he's gonna go back. And he gets disadvantage on attack rolls. All right. Uh, 10 feet, right? Yeah, it's 10 feet. Do I step right. there? Do I step there? I step there. Fuck it, why not? Okay. All right. And that it? All right, on his turn, because he was dealt enough. Unstoppable Berserker. Uh, he no longer has the disadvantage. All right. Uh, El Chad. Got to unmute myself. All right, uh, El Chad feels like he needs to do something. So you going... see them through the front windshield. <laughs> yeah, El Chad's going to hop out onto the side and up to the front. You can do within is 25 feet of movement, which I think so you, effectively puts it here. Yeah, that will put you as you slide yeah. down. All right. Well, he gets healed from radiant damage, doesn't he? Uh, no, he doesn't get healed by it. Oh, okay. He's just resistant to it. Oh, that's fine. All right. This. <laughs> it's gonna hit. I love El Chad heroically gets last hit. <laughs> it's not going to hit. Uh, no, no, it does. Uh, uh -huh. because uh, see it. strike. Okay, so never mind. It does hit. <laughs> and then. Is this far? is El Chad. He felt the, the Yasni thing. He didn't think it was Horus. He thought it was Yasni telling him to come up and do this. <laughs> All right, that is that. He is still up in the first hit. Uh, but he, he is down. All right. How does El Chad want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> El Chad. El Chad was just chilling in the car the whole time. And then El like, Chad. Oh, nah, let me... Short El Chad, mind Short you. Short El Chad, reminding, remembering a story Horace told him years ago. Just takes his longsword and just shoves it right up his gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Kind of like down, it's like a down, like an uppercut, but with a sword through the, like, gut. Basically, no, it was gooch, gooch. Like, but I don't know the angle. The angle on that, I feel like, is not quite. Yeah, he just he just comes and uppercuts it. 
you know, right between the legs. Yeah, but he's lower than you are, so you would have to like no, lay no, 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 no. This is short L Chad we're talking about. He's three foot yeah. nine. Oh, you're right. You're right. I that was my mistake. As you, you like re try to remember what Horus said. Something about stabbing him in the gooch. Um, but for uh -huh. some reason in your memory, Horus is shorter and kind of looks like Bingo. <laughs> and that is when you you sort of slide down uh, this windshield and stab upward through the the body of him and you rip it out his gut spilling out uh he begins to step backwards on the uh the edge of the car uh and he just kind of looks at you guys and goes <laughs> uh, I, okay as his tattoos begin to dissolve off of his body, now just a just a bare man, as he goes, "That's well, this was fun," <laughs> and he falls under the rumbler, and you hear a boom, 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 as the rumbler rolls over him. God, damn. Uh, his body uh, sort of sliding past. Uh, crushed and mangled. Uh, Bloco, I think at the last moment you like sort of gun it so that you don't get crushed yeah, like by Fafnir as Fafnir. Or something. Yeah, okay, here, let me. Wait. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to grab that token. <laughs> by the way, our men just kind of slides to a stop. <laughs> uh, as you. Uh, Musei, did you jump? What did you do? Because he is going to fall. Uh, Fafnir is going to fall. Did you just hop off at the last yeah, second? hop off and go towards Ragnar's body. All right. You hop off. By the way, Baps, you'll see this because you were still kind of moving forward. Is Musei hops off, doesn't even look as the dragon, boom, lands. Doesn't look at the explosion. Uh, and Armed, you, you kind of slowly slide to a stop. Oh. Uh, the dragon shakes himself still, off. still puttering with uh, with fire. Uh, something you are all going to notice is the storm is letting up. It it seems like the the storm is over, at least at its epicenter. Uh, as Moose say, you run over to uh, Ragnar, and uh, do you do something? Uh yeah, she'll start drinking his blood. Drinking his blood? Oh my what? god. Yeah, but probably fight. Just start drinking his blood. Just before they get over there. She just wants to get a taste of that divinity blood. We'll taste of that blood. Alright, you know what? Make a con save. Oh, you oh, become the, the new herald of Talos. <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. You you begin um sucking on the blood and your vision is drawn elsewhere and i'm gonna go to the bathroom before we do this or before i do that because i really need to pee i'll be right back <laughs> all right you know i don't think he has right, i oh, think he man. just wants you to guys, build suspense we defeated ragnar baby did we though uh, i think Probably. this time i think this time we did i still say we need to like we still probably need to separate his body pieces like back to Oh yeah, yeah. We'll put we'll we'll uh we'll put them in reliquaries, you know, like the finger of Ragnar and stuff. I think we uh, need to get the hell out of here. I mean, yeah, we probably is drinking his blood. There, there is a small part of me that wants to mirror his head. Bamir? Yeah, like, yeah. Like let's do it. Let's do it. I, I want to. We can I, deliver I it to Talos. To... <laughs> we can take we can it to Talos. <laughs> we, I mean, yeah, we, we honestly, we could. Well, isn't Mimir you send the head back to his people? So that would be like Talos? Yes. I was talking about wearing it on my hip, but oh. yes. We can do both. Or not. Can we shrink? Can you shrink it? I'll come back from peeing. No. All right. Guys, I think he's still peeing. Well. Uh, 
as your does vision anybody, is drawn. Does anybody want to have sex with that corpse? Oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh, Bingo, gosh. no. <laughs> oh, Bingo, no. Oh, Bingo, no. Uh, you see this theme. We do? It's, uh, no, this no, is, uh, Musei. what Musei sees. Oh, okay. Musei, it's, uh, you see this man, uh, Talos, as you now know, looking down over the battered and beaten corpse of Arya. Her body slowly dissolving um, into these sort of soft white flakes. She kind of reaches up rather limply before he reaches down, grabs her neck, and crack. All of those little particulates swirl around him. He kind of looks at it for a bit, sparks of lightning uh, sort of arcing around his hammer and around his hand, the one he snapped her neck with, you see these uh, sort of runic tattoos appear around it and swirls of snow begin to uh, envelop it. He kind of looks at it for a bit and then he looks over his shoulder directly at you, Muse. this sort of spectral image of you. Well, the spectral, basically from your point of view, right? He is looking yeah. at you. He knows you're looking at him. And then you hear a crack as he leaps, uh, heading towards your direction. Uh, uh, raggy. Uh, as raggy. you are <gasps> sort of recalled back to yourself. Can I do anything? Yeah, you're allowed to do something. Uh, first, how did that blood taste like? Um, it tastes really really gross um in fact make a perception check all right while you did get the taste of something uh rather rather divine and supernatural it is almost tainted like a bad like a like a really fine wine that has been spoiled um there is something inherently wrong about this. Uh, Muse will uh, pick up the corpse with her astral arms and start booking it towards the fucking um, car saying, Fat Man's coming, Fat Man's coming. <laughs> <laughs> As you're running towards Baps. Uh, Baps, what do you say? <laughs> Fat Man's coming. Just, he's coming. Just, he killed an owl lady. He's coming. Just d drop that thing. We We, we don't need it. No, 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 it's coming with. It's coming with. Baps is going to come over to, to Ahmed and uh, kind of lift him up and put him back on his feet. Oof. Thank you, big man. Uh, of course. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's time to go. Um, when you hear the thing, big man coming, big man coming, it is that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, when you hear that and, and kind of Musei has gestured, you see there is now a low storm. It's not nearly as intense, but it is building and it is heading in your direction. This one, a swirled mix of lightning and snow. The, 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 very, very much t time to go. Yars uh, holds his finger up very quickly. Time to... And then he falls lethargic. <laughs> you slump down in the back seat. <laughs> um, what does Armed do? Armed seems to be standing there contemplating. Armed is, Armed is walking with Babs. All right. He's like, "Yes, time to go." And then he yells, "Jeeves!" You you it's kind of like Pocahontas. You see like the little bit of wind blow by your your face. He goes, "I'll be with you always, Master." <laughs> I'll be with you always, Master. Uh, as Baps passes Horus, 
uh, he's gonna put a put a heavy fat hand on his shoulder. I I I saw what you did. I I I find find respect to you. Ooh, that's that feels good, but also kind of hurts. But We're all hurting. Yeah, my I'm a little tender. But we did it, guys. We did it together. As you all load up into the rumbler, and I imagine tear off towards the coast. Yeah, we should probably get the fuck out of here, though, huh? Yeah, does, yeah we're pretty good at killing. Does Vinny have time yeah, to drink can... a couple potions? Oh, uh, I'll have some time along the way. Eight. Okay, cool. Or actually, uh, I'll take I'll take ten minutes as we're driving, and I will cast Prayer of Healing. Oh, thank Ooh. God. Does that one do? Right, if you guys want to do uh, uh, that sort of housekeeping, that, it doesn't do that improved Divine Smite, but I think it. Um, uh, did I do it wrong? It's two d six, but you get uh, like you get the two d six, and you can do it ten times, basically. Oh, oh, ten cool. times oh no, the, it's prayer of healing. Never mind. I was thinking oh. of aura of vitality. Up oh, to six yeah. creatures of my choice, each regain hit points equal to two d eight plus my spell casting ability modifier. Uh, so that Are would you be. That's, I can't because I use all my three my level three spots. Uh, but six people can have 11 hit points. Uh, Vinny will take 11 of those. I will take 11. 11, or do you want me to roll? Uh, I guess you guys can all roll. Oh, it, it would be a it would be a 2d8. It would be a 2d8 uh, plus four. Um, I think it's just the one roll. Yeah. Uh, well, they each they each regain hit points equal to two d eight plus my ability modifier. But yeah. I guess yeah, everybody gets the same. Yeah. All right. So I am gonna I and I am gonna take one of those because I have fourteen hit points currently. All right, uh, DM. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Uh, I was just saying you guys could do your kind of like whatever you think you're gonna do because you'll have some time, uh, not yeah. enough to short rest, but enough to cast any spells. You would uh, perhaps want along the way. We got three more. We got three more spots in the prayer of healing available. If anybody wants eleven hit points, well, yours will take that. some. Yours. Baps will take eleven. All right. So me, Baps, uh, Vinny, obviously. I took Yars, one. Uh, Droga, and anybody else. We got one more spot if anybody wants it. If no one wants it, I'll take it, but I don't right. need it. Yeah, well, I mean, no one else needs it either, I think. So. All right, I'll take it. You oh. twisted my arm. I'll uh, take it. Oh, I'll take, take this 11 po hit points for killing the final boss. Oh. <laughs> yes. Since I did all the work, I'm yeah. just going <laughs> to say it right here. I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself. And I'll get a 12. Baps is going to move over to Muse as we're speeding along towards the corpse, the, the, the coast. And he's going to nod towards the corpse. Well, I... well, what are you planning on doing with that? She takes out her, her smoking lollipop, puts her mouth, and go. I don't know, but this fucker made me look bad, so I'll make him look bad. Uh, his his gonna... body just sitting there slumped. Uh, this is a, a figure that has uh, pursued pretty aggressively the party. Uh, Maybe doll him up before I hand him back to his dear old pops. We should take off his head. We should do more than take off his head. is gonna take up the corpse of Ragnar and look at Muse and look at Droga. We're, we're, we're better than that. 
and he's gonna throw it at the side of the rumbler. Stunning fist. Stunning fist. Stunning fist. Uh, all right. Fist Babs. Punch Babs. Babs, make a con save. Uh, make an attack roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do have to make an attack roll. Yes, Fuck, you do yeah, have to right. make an attack roll. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I mean, 18 I is... Hit. No, 18 is going to hit because Baps' armor is busted. Is yep. it? How did that happen? Uh, oh, you weren't there for that. Uh, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Baps got uh, killed. And his armor actually had a bunch of runes on him to revive him once, but it's broken. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that's going to hit. You probably will pass the con save. I would hope so. We'll see. What's the DC? Uh, 16. Yeah. Yeah. What's Babs... the damage? Oh, uh, uh, six force. Oh, force. Yeah, I'm punching with my astral arms. I, that's so long. Uh, Baps takes the punch in stride and pushes you down with an athletics check. Not great, actually, considering he has a plus 15 to it. Is that athletics or acrobatics or dodge? Either. Either. Oh. Nope. Nope. But yeah, Baps just, you, you punch him. With your fucking magic. <laughs> and then and he Babs just pushes you down. He puts his hand on your head and pushes you down into the floor, moves oh. past you, and tosses Ragnar out the side of the moving vehicle. We're not um, than this. As as you take Ragnar and you you get ready to, to shove him off, um, one thing you will see is his his sort of slumped body. His expression looks somewhat peaceful um, and kind of maybe surprisingly so. Um, and he's got, you know, the dried blood around his eyes and mouth. Uh, and I, I will say again, he looks eerily like Na uh, when she goes full berserk, um, except she much like Na when she passes out, he is similar. However, he is also dead. Yeah, you just toss him out the side, and he goes, and he sits down in a chair, one of the chairs okay. of the Rumbler. I, I, I've seen thousands of corpses t t turned into banners. We're, we're better, we're better than that. Oh. <laughs> so you've seen thousands of corpses turned into banners. Bap says nothing more. Like, did they take peel off the skin and and make a flag? Look, he said what he fucking said. Yeah, now they're probably gonna use some magic to bring back that fuck again. Maybe we should make a flag out of it. Droga is going to move next to Bap's. Moose saying, by the way, you hear you hear a click. And there's a picture of Baps holding the corpse out the window. Like out the <laughs> There's like a Cheshire cat grin on her face when she sees that. <laughs> and she goes eerily quiet, sucking her smoking lollipop. And by the way, hold on. No, I have to address this really quick. <laughs> our, our men, you like, why do you want to play the didgeridoo? What is your purpose for doing it? Is kind of what I, I need to know first. Ahmed is attempting to play a little song to cut the tension. To cut the tension? To cut the tension. All right, just... you get in your didgeridoo. You begin playing it. A didgeridoo. And as you do, there's a song. It's stuck in your head. You remember it on the radio on the way here, and you just can't stop playing <laughs> this fucking song. 
<laughs> but you don't know how to play it. So it comes across really bad. You're just trying to figure it out by ear. Yeah. So the whole time this is going on, our men is fiddling with the muck will go on. Uh, <laughs> And it is Ahmed really... knows it's bad. He knows <laughs> it's bad. And he's starting to feel a little embarrassed. He's like, oof. 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 I, I, I definitely act like I'm good at this. Yeah. Uh, is he oof. playing this in the car right now? Yes, yeah, with everybody car. around. A nice little didge. Um, Ahmed, goes, can you please stop? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm trying to meditate. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I pull. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just, I'm just going to go to sleep. And, uh, if any of you guys are feeling sleepy, let me know. Yes. And so, uh, Ahmed. Yeah, I'm feeling sleepy. And, uh, Yars is going to go to sleep. But I think we have one more, one more I'm slot. He's going to take a nap, too. Okay. As. As they're like cat napping, after what uh, Bats had said, uh, Droga he's he's still like he looks still very mad, and he's just kind of stewing, and he's just gonna go and sit over next to Bats, and he's not really gonna like like try to initiate conversation, but uh, Bats roll roll an inside check. Um, sure. Okay. Drogue has talked about it before. Like, Gloomhaven is, like, very, like, he fucking hates them. He's very well aware of what they've done. And he's just gonna, like, go over and, like, start using, like, magic to start mending your armor. As I do have men I do have mending, and he's just gonna like focus on it as um as he's not really doing much, but it's it's his way of just like kind of focusing on something as as what you had said just kind of like really just pulled him back down to reality real hard. As the rumbler rolls away. Ragnar's body is laying there in the snow. A wind goes by, kicking up uh, snow and ice. Uh, one moment, it is just Ragnar laying there by himself. And in the next, Talos is sort of standing over him, looking down at him. Uh, he's really not expressing anything. He's just kind of standing there looking down uh, at his now dead herald and son uh, with kind of a a cold I'd say lack of emotion is maybe a bit a bit of a statement but you don't know he's hard to read um, but it is as he stands there a woman calls out to him. Oh, uh, it's going to be this one. She is actually okay. Post a picture. Oh, goodness. Talos, leave it. We have much more important work to do. Besides, those heroes did enough work on Fafnir here for us to reclaim what is ours. And Talos just quietly turns around away from his son and begins walking over to the uh, to this large uh, witch-like woman. Uh, and as he is, she is sort of waving her arms, and Fafnir is beginning to dissolve in a similar way that Ariel did. Um, and 
that is what happens with that as the party. Hold on. Ooh. Oh god, I just clicked create a new folder. I didn't want to create a new folder, I'm sorry. I didn't want to create a new folder. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Um damn, how do I move the party? Oh there, I have to click up here. Loop. Uh, we are we've gone to the world map. It's been a while since we've been here. It's been a while. It's been a while. God damn it. Man, <laughs> I'm glad. I just got this shirt. It's already stained. <laughs> um where is my music I normally play for this? I guess it's at this point everybody is I don't have a map for the boat. I have the boat map. I guess I could use the boat map. Uh, what? Which boat did you guys bring? The unsinkable or the dragon's breath? Probably the dragon's I breath. I think. I think we got a boat out of Talonbrine. It's not ours. Yeah. No, because you had to take a boat to Talonbrine. Good point. Really certain. So it is uh, one of the two. Guys, which boat did we take half a year ago? To it was, go to Talonbrine. Uh, it was probably dragon's yeah, breath. Gonna, it was probably yeah, the dragon's breath. Two. It was the unsinkable two. The Unsinkable 2 is a bigger boat. I will give you oh, that. Oh, yeah, then it's oh, a bigger no, boat. Never mind. I know for a fact it's the Unsinkable 2 because um, because 88 was down in the lower decks of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I oh, actually yeah. am very aware that you guys took the Unsinkable 2. It is the bigger boat also. I'm going to put you guys there. And then I'm gonna change the music real quick. Gotta have some like relaxing music here. Cozy quarters. Yeah, that's work. Um, as you guys, I guess not in them get there first uh, with the big rock. Yeah. Um. Okay. Nah, with her her animal handling, will kind of uh, make the rock comfortable wherever the rock is most comfortable. Can you guys see the token I'm putting out or no? Um, what are the rock token? But yeah, the rock token for whatever I don't reason. See the isn't, rock token isn't coming out. That's weird. I haven't been the other here. I might have to jump to that sheet and. Re, reattach the rock's token. Butts with it. Where did you put it? Was yeah. it near the top in the right, or was it something else? That's something else. I okay. put a ballista. Ballista. Yeah, I saw the ballista. To, to test it. You selected it. There we go. Now it should work. After a a long and and arduous battle. Uh, you guys find yourself on the unsinkable two. And then there's the rock. The rock is just hanging out up here. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, hey, everybody. Um, the second, this, the second while he says that, El Chad's going to like walk up to him and kind of like Put his hand on his head and like try to figure out if he's taller than Wooly or not. <laughs> uh, you are actually still taller than Wooly. Ah, uh, and he's gonna just sigh in relief and. Boy, you look good, <laughs> sir. You lose some weight. Yeah, about a third of it. Oh, very good, sir. Very good. Um. By the way, when Nog gets on the boat, Adasil like has run up and basically like just enveloped her. <laughs> yes, I'll be right wherever Nog is. She's like blubbering, like she can't even like keep her her more like humanoid solid form as she's like hugging Nog. She's like bubbling. 
Yeah, bubbling. <laughs> and I like that Nas is extremely tiny for some reason. Her token made her very small. She feels very small right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. And uh, Adam's still like, like examining Na this whole time. Uh, and, and that is that. Uh, as I imagine the rest of the group with the Rumbler come rolling up. Baps, you see Na safe and sound on the boat. Yep, uh, Baps is as gonna, well as the rest of the gang, I guess. Baps is gonna try and, and run up to her immediately. Um, she uh, she looks excited to see you, but a little apprehensive, I imagine. Baps uh, stops short a little bit and, and looks at Adasil and then back to Naw. Adasil just, just scoops both of you in a hug. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, um, you're both okay. I'm sorry, I'm oozing everywhere. Baps almost falls into the group hug. <laughs> and looks up and sees Marine. Uh lurking? What's Marine doing? Marine was like over by Na, and then like Baps came up, and then like cause just like kind of shuffled, like just like just to be close to it, but is too uh is is too like apprehensive on being part of a family hug. She, she, she like she obviously looks like like she like she wants to join in, but she she's like very, being very stoic. You're trying not to, to intervene in it. Yes, basically. Yeah. Bingo will intervene. <laughs> <laughs> and just Awkwardly get in there. Awkwardly kind of slide in there. <laughs> slide in yeah. there. Baps moves to go over to, to bring Marine into the family hug and Bingo pops up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a group hug. We scoop Bingo by accident, like as part of it. Yeah. Nav wrinkles her nose. Bingo, Bingo isn't wearing pants. Don't you uh th think you should uh g get cleaned up, buddy? Oh, we got plenty of time. We're going home now. Just full hog hanging out there. Yeah. Nah, we're, we're going home. Yeah. Where we can live happily ever after. Yeah. And certainly nothing bad will ever happen to us. Nothing bad is going to happen. I guarantee it. Uh, and you're all sitting there and it uh, kind of saying we're, we're going home. As you hear something behind you, Baps. And it says, hold on, I need it here. Confirmation. Oh, yes. I would very much like to go home. Oh, who said that? <laughs> All I feel is pain. <laughs> uh, as behind you is a robot that looks like 88. Um, however, on its body, it is labeled 56. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, he hello. Sarcastic greeting. Oh, hello. It is so good to see you. Uh, who and who are you exactly, sir? Or ma'am? Yeah, how'd you get on our boat? Statement. 
I have always been on your boat. It was my task to observe 87 and 88's performance. Trouble. Oh, but they left, and I was left disabled in the hull until the skeleton man repaired me. Very, uh, unfortunate. Uh, f f for you, yeah. Um. Good to see you back in, in oh. full form, I guess. Faint joy. Oh, yes. It is very good to be again, back again with all of you. Even though this is the first time I have ever met you. Um. Statement. I am going to return back to the cargo bay. If you need me, I will be there. Uh, uh, thanks? <laughs> he just completely ignores you and heads downstairs. There's a... Oh, we need... I don't a, need that robot. There's a lock on the cargo bay, ain't there? There is. Muse, you see this, by the way. Picture, picture. Psh, psh. Yeah, yeah, Team Z mode. Yeah. Um, as the ice begins to crack, uh, you guys can begin sailing back to Shellport. Uh, if you choose to, unless it's there's like, some other destination. Of course. It's like Northwest, right? Can uh, can I see the the oh, yes, world I map again? Bring, bring back the ocean map here. Because I was reviewing some character notes I forgot about. And while I have the map for Teorith, I have a note that says uh, that Teor where Teorith is relative to Deep Stone. Yes. It says north of the Deep Stone dwarves around the middle of the planet. So. All right. Straight north. Um, just kind of on the way to Shellport. Make a history check with um, advantage. All right. History. 21. 21. You are actually able to tell that it is in the general direction of... Two. B. Hold on. Where is it? I'm going to put a desert tile here. I will have to make more of them because it is a rather large continent. Uh, Just a general idea. So it's over there. Yeah. Okay, so then it is out of the way, so then Vinny won't bring it up. It is still something to make note of. Yeah, it right? is still something to make note of, sure. Uh, because it, it, it does basically circle a good chunk of either side, right? Oh, wow, okay. Cool. I'm just gonna wait. Planet's not flat. Planet's not flat. Why would it be? Oh yeah, Vinny, I forgot to tell you the planet's not flat. I lied about that. How can you do this? But when we first listen, when we first made a deal, I admit I was fucking with you a little. But <laughs> now that we're close, I ain't gonna fuck with you so much. All right. Well, you know what? You know, looking back, it is a little bit funny. Um, I just wish it wasn't me. But yeah, yeah, no, hey, we it's tell over. Else it's water though. under the bridge. Um, I guess that means there's no ice wall either. Uh, I mean, probably up farther north, I guess, or the other side. You know, it's like mirrors. I don't know. Listen, I wasn't very good at geometric shapes. That's okay. It's it's not super important right now. I did mostly destruction. That was kind of my area of expertise. You know, me too. I bet that's why we work well, so well together. That's what I I didn't want to say it, but you know, I think that that is true.
Are we heading to Shellport or uh, what? And you guys head to Shellport. Is that the plan? Bloco I might actually so. bring up um, Eden's offer to Babs about. Oh yeah, I guess nah. we're gonna recollect information from the two groups. Yeah. yeah. I think that'll be a thing for next session. Though. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, we can have a, a down session, right? Well, yeah, we know we're going north for sure. Yeah. We talk about the specific What's destination on the way. What's everybody on the top decks doing? Yeah, what is El Chad and them doing since him and Horus uh, slayed a demigod and a, I guess a, a wandering god? Well, here. there's there's only one answer to that, and it's getting absolutely plastered with Wooly. Hell oh, yeah. yeah! Yes, I'll break out the good whiskey, and he Just... he goes downstairs into the cupboard. And it is all the same brand of whiskey. <laughs> and he just grabs one of them. I would hey. like to take a long rest. <laughs> Let's do it, lads. Let's do it. Uh, drinking in revelry, I imagine. Yep, just all of it. Yeah. Yars hears the drinking in revelry and finds his way down there, too. He's like, hey, sounds like we're drinking in here. Come, come join us, friend. He goes, been a while, El Chad. And he, uh, he slams down his, his, uh, everlasting flask of whiskey. I don't know why I thought you were about to say everlasting goth stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Got it on the oh, brain. Man. Guys, I just can't believe that me and El Chad single-handedly killed Ragnar like that. I know. Crazy. M must be the power of Yasni. Probably. Mm. Mm. Okay. As you're all sort of drinking revelry, the sea stays quiet and safe for your journey home. Uh, as we begin sort of traveling uh, downward, our, our attention is brought elsewhere. And uh, I don't mean to pop this on you, Nate, but we are... We were in a different place. We were in the dreamscape. Ooh. Uh, and we are... Where is Mayard? Where is Mayard? Let's see. He would have been... Um... Well, what happened to him after our deal with Mananan? Um, He was shunted back to his... Uh, to the dreamscape, basically. He banished him back. Hmm. Let's see. Mayard would be likely meditating in his jungle his jungle camp. His jungle camp? Mm hmm All right. As Mayard is sort of sitting there meditating, um, I will say, you know, the dreamscape is fairly quiet, but it is eerily quiet right now. Um, almost as if there is no sound. Hmm. Uh, what does Mayard do? Mayard, his uh, his mustache twitches a bit, and you know he's in his yogi stance, which is you know crossed legs with his leg on top of the th his feet on the on top of his thigh, and he sort of cracks an eyelid. And he suddenly Sorry. notices the total silence. You hmm. feel a drawing somewhere, as if you were being pulled to a location 
Maillard knows. Hmm. Um, it is a vision. It is this vision. The large burning tree with the stones circling uh, sort of in front of it. One of the, or two of them crumbled at this point. Uh, each of them surrounded with this sort of uh, teal-like glow. Uh, but something is different about this place. You are not alone, Mayor. Who else is there? This woman is there. Um, she is this standing may... in, in between two stones. Um, these two are swirling with that magic. Her hands are, are raised up, um, and she has not basically looked at Mayard. Mayard is looking behind, she, at her back, basically. Ooh. He speaks up. And he says, what are you doing here? Uh, I suppose I should ask you the same question. Mayard? Mm. Does he recognize her voice? Uh, does not. Mm. He's very uneasy about this. And he says, I get pulled here from time to time. Mm. More like you are an intruder of some kind? Trespassing, perhaps? In a place you shouldn't be? I've never known this place to have an owner. It does. And you do not belong. Dreamwalker. I know of your machination. And she stops what she's doing and kind of walks, uh, turns around and walks over to Maillard. This is a domain that I find myself in quite a lot. For I am attuned to it, hell. I am a part of it. And you do not belong. He's silent. I, I assume he can sense that she's very powerful. Uh, I, I would say... The unsettling part isn't the fact that she she feels uh, exceptionally powerful. You don't feel anything. Mm. Um, it's almost the absence of something that is unsettling about it. Oof. I liked Ooh. your little trick back in the hallway. Well, we must do what we must to keep our friends safe. Yes. She gives kind of a very um, uncanny valley smile. Yes. I agree. You know, I don't want to punish you. Because like you said, you did not know. I think it would be best if we forgot all about this. Don't you? Um, and when she says that, that word forgot, uh, Mayard, you are drawn back to the Great Hall, this this memory of it. Um, maybe rattles you a bit. Um, that encounter in the hallway, particularly that figure um, that had attacked you guys, has a eerie similarity to this woman um this woman's silhouette mm. uh, what does mayard do because what's going to happen may be bad did she uh, did she um take his memories or did she just say she wants him to forget about it uh, I think she in insinuated she wants uh, you want to make an insight. We'll, we'll determine it that way. All right. I'll do that real fast. Bum, bum, bum. 
you get the feeling, um, based on some, your encounter in that hallway, she's going to make you forget a lot of stuff, if not make you be forgotten. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, After if, uh, all, if... your meddling here, it harms the planet. Hmm. Our it is sorry. my duty to protect it. Um, now, if whatever you would want Mayard to do. Mayard. Oof. He has. Sorry, I'm taking a long time. That's all right. Uh, he has. Um, an ability to, to, to. He essentially wants to run away. Uh, OK, I forget what I forget what it is. I think it's a class feat. Uh, and it's a it's one of those druid ones where he can it's like the hidden paths oh yeah, yeah the... it's called hidden paths and he's gonna try to zip away from her if he can all right um here let me see what that is a oh, circle of dreams that was it because mm -hmm. this is i believe what he used similar last time to escape right or it was the moonlight gateway or something like that i don't think we used something specific last time okay um hidden pass in the blink of an eye uh armed sort of skirts away um a good distance away from her um and for a moment armed feels like he is pulled back in time as if that moment didn't happen oh you are standing back in front of her before whoop, you cast it again uh and are a distance away and then you see behind her two of those stones that swirling magic ancient with the runes and engar engraved in it swirl around them and the stones break leaving only two more stones Ooh. And then in a blink, Armed wakes back up in his camp, having forgotten the rest of the encounter. Oh no. He's in a cold sweat. But he doesn't know why. This looming threat of doom. And that is where we will end tonight's oh, session. Oh man. Doom. Uh, and we end with every... a looming set of doom. A looming set of doom. Sense of doom, I meant. Sorry. And everyone, all the characters, will get thirty-six thousand XP. Holy oh, shit! Dang. I mean, we did kill a god. Yes, and this is like the culmination of multiple sessions. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 36 that is straight up level eight by itself <laughs> dang i also don't think i've added experience since before the zala fight so i've got to go back through and figure out what i'm at oh my god i forgot what that is. <laughs> oh that's a long time ago. <laughs> hang on you said thirty-six thousand. yeah thirty-six thousand. okay all right so that puts that puts horus at Level 13, almost 14. All right. Uh, Zin's probably about where Bloco is, right? So maybe I could just give you my pre this experience number and that would work. Maybe. Does that sound right? I, I think so. Um, Here, the only you. thing I think I did differently from you was um, one of the dreamscapes, but you had your own instance, so we were probably even there too. So yeah, we're good. Oh, wow. That... that... Pretty much doubles Nas' experience points. <laughs> uh, I am fifteen thousand, or I'm less than fifteen thousand XP away from being level seventeen as Droga. Right. That's that's big Whoa. stuff. I know. This is we we are reaching end game. Huh? And let me see what Marine went up to.
Marine is at level 12. Hey, Bingo's at level 12. Vinny's going to 14, and I think Bloco's going to make it to 15. What is Droga's total XP? Uh, 210,083. Damn. Dr legitimately, I have played Droga in everything that has been, like, a XP dump. Yeah. And just by happenstance. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to hop off. I'm going to level these guys up tomorrow. Cause I'm See you, man. I yeah, good night, guys. I don't want to do it wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to think about this. These are key levels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and watch the rest of our amazing videos. And stay tuned for more. Incredible videos from the Adventurer's Landing.